Hey friends, welcome to today's video. Today is Wednesday, the 29th, September 29th. I had to look at my phone. Um, I'm filming this two days after learning of the passing of Mel Thompson, who we all loved so much here in the beauty community. Um, I think it's very apparent by the outpouring of love and um, you know messages and comments and mourning. Like we are in mourning right now. Mel was such a special, special person. You know, she was a person outside of the beauty community, outside of being a creator. She was an incredibly beautiful soul. I mean, just, I got to know Mel a little bit over the last year or so. Obviously we never met in person, but we would communicate on text and through Marco Polo, which is a video messaging app. And she was truly as kind and caring and compassionate and selfless as you would expect her to be by watching her videos. She was amazing. She was such a light and she was, you know, such a special, special part of this beauty community. And, you know, today's Wednesday, I had a lot of videos pre-filmed um, over the next couple of weeks because, you know, we had our big launch last week with Angie and I wanted to get a lot of videos pre-filmed. So I have all these videos that are scheduled over the next week that were filmed weeks ago. And I just feel like, you know, it just feels odd. It just feels odd. I don't, I don't know what the right or wrong thing to do here is, but it just feels odd. I just want to come on here and tell you all that, you know, I'm sending you all my love. Obviously I'm sending my love and my prayers to Mel's family, her husband, her children, um, but also you as a community, because I know that you all are impacted and mourning her as well. We all are. So I thought I would just come on here and do my makeup. I thought I would use Mel's palette. I thought I would use Mel's lipstick um, and I would get ready and, and just, you know, just honor her and share. Um, like I said, I didn't know Mel really well, but um, I did get to know her through our chats and Marco Polos. And I just, you know, I just wanna share and honor her memory. Um, I also, I don't know if this will go in this video, but I have a private Facebook group page called Beauty Chit Chat. And, you know, we are all really heavy, you know, and, and heartbroken in that group. And there's all these posts and comments about her, you know, honoring her and paying tribute to her. And I thought it'd be fun if, um, you know, I don't even know yet if I'll have permission, but, you know, to share some of, uh, you know, pictures, maybe short videos, depending on what I get submitted from people that allow me to share, um, share that honoring her. You know, uh, we started a little tag in our group called hashtag Mel Inspired, where, you know, we'll share looks um, in the group, you know, inspired by Mel using her products or her collaborations. And, um, you know, if I can incorporate some into that video, into this video, it will be. So let's get started. Okay, so um, we'll start with foundation. I'm putting on a little bit of the Lancome Tint E Doll Ultra Wear Foundation, and I'm the shade 320 Bisque Warm. So we are going to do that. It's humid today in Austin. It's uh, raining. It's not super hot, so that's nice. It's not like a hot and humid day. It's kind of more like a moderately <laughs> warm, humid day. So this foundation is great because it's very long wearing and I don't have to worry about it looking shiny. I am going to film another video after this, um, but yeah, so I'm just going to put this on and buffing it into the skin with a BK Beauty 106 brush. I need to put a little eye drops in my eyes. My eyes are a little red. Um, I'm gonna put this, these Lumify eye drops in. I meant to do it before I started filming, but I forgot. These really brighten the eyes. So I, I do wanna say, you know, I think when we um, lose someone so unexpectedly and so sudden, it's, it's hard to lose anyone you love and care about, you know? But I think especially when it's someone, you know, so, young and um so sudden and unexpectedly you just it's just a shock you know and you go through this this uh stage of just being in disbelief and like shock and you know but i think to you know when that happens i i know for me personally i take away something from it and you know I was looking at, I had actually been thinking about Mel a lot over the last few weeks, you know, probably the last three or four weeks. I've been thinking about her so much and, you know, thinking, oh, I need to check in with her. It's been a couple of months since I talked to her. And, you know, you're, you know, you have those feelings about people, you know, sometimes you're driving and you think about them and you're like, oh, I need to mark a pull of them or I need to send them a text or I need to call them. But you can't in that moment, you know, and then you forget or you get busy and then, you know, you keep thinking of them. And that was kind of what was going on with me and Mel over the last month as I had been thinking about her a lot. Um, and I kept saying, I need to, I need to check in with her and I never did. And, um, you know, it, it was just like, you know, one, you realize how precious life is. 
And two, you realize like, gosh, like, listen to that voice, listen to that intuition of you, something's telling me I need to reach out to this person and I need to, you know, see how they're doing. And um, yeah, so I just want to, you know, encourage us all to, to do that. Um, life can get busy and we can, um, you know, get distracted and I'm just blending this out now and it's already done. Um, life can get so busy, but I think, you know, in moments like now, it's just a reminder to what's really important, you know, what's really important in, in the people in your life and nurturing those relationships and taking even a few minutes to let them know like, Hey, how are you doing? I'm thinking about you, you know? So, yeah. So now I'm using the one size concealer underneath my eye and I'm gonna blend this out actually with the BK Beauty Angie Hot and Flashy um, A506 concealer brush. Um, this is definitely <laughs> gonna be a favorite from the collection. I know I'm already hearing from you guys about it. We're getting a lot of questions about, you know, if these brushes will be available, you know, offered individually and they will. Um, this is not a limited collaboration. These brushes are here to stay, you know, so you have time to buy them. Don't feel like you have to get everything now if it's not the right time for you. Uh, it'll be a couple of months likely before we um, offer them up for individual. Uh, we needed to first get the inventory to, um, you know, meet that demand and we needed to get extra inventory of this particular brush. Uh, so just wanted to answer that question. I've been trying to do a good job of getting to all your questions around this, but obviously, you know, I, I miss some because it's hard, you know, I, on all the platforms, it's hard to keep up with every single comment, but I thought I'd mention that. This brush just blends it out so quick. It's amazing. It's like a sponge mixed with a brush. I love it. So perfect. Okay, next I'm going to go in and apply bronzer. I'm using the Ilia bronzer and I'm going to use, um, I'm actually going to use my BK Beauty 104 brush to apply this. It's a big brush for bronzer, but I'm just going to use the tip. I like it because it's fluffy, so I can kind of apply uh, it softly. This bronzer has a lot of pigment, so, you know, I want to use something a little fluffier just so I don't apply too much. I can also kind of just press it like this on the tip and that'll help apply it. You know, one thing that always inspired me about Mel is how caring she was of other people. Um, you know, and I think, you know, that was obvious in all the times that she just came out to support other creators um, and other people, you know, and she was so outspoken and um, not afraid to be vulnerable and share her struggles and share, um, you know, share other people to help other people. She just didn't even give it a second thought. You know, she just was always led by her heart. And I think that that is really inspiring. And I think that we could all learn from that. Okay, so now that I've got bronzer, I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna kind of set the center of the face and I'm gonna use the Laura Mercier um, Translucent Honey Powder. And I'm gonna switch gears to a lighter brush. I'm gonna use the BK Beauty 108 brush. And I'm just gonna kind of First go underneath the eyes and then the center of the face and then the forehead, pretty. That really contrasts with the bronzer and gives a real kind of baked look without having to put a whole lot of powder there. It's nice. So for brows, I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury uh, Brow Lift. I've really been enjoying this product. Um, when I purchased it, I was thinking it was a different type of product. I thought it was gonna be like a micro fine brow pencil, but it ended up being um, more like a thicker, wider tip, but I really like it. Next, I'm gonna use a little bit of blush and I'm using the BK Beauty Angie Hot and Flashy A507. I'm gonna pick up the shade Fresco from Laura Mercier and we're just gonna pop this onto just above the apples of the cheeks and kind of blend up. So for eyes, I'm gonna use the Mel Thompson Sydney Grace Tiny Marvels um, collaboration. And I'm gonna keep the eyes kind of simple because I'm gonna go and use the uh, lipstick Puffin from the Christian Audette and Mel Thompson collab. It's a really bright kind of orangey red. So I wanna keep the eyes pretty simple, um, which is unfortunate because this palette is actually so beautiful and has so much bright and beautiful bold colors. 
Um, I remember when Mel launched this, I felt like she really created a, the perfect palette for everybody. Like, you know, I stick to a lot of neutral looks here on my channel. You know, I, I will incorporate some pinks, some rose gold, some purples, but for the most part, I don't venture out into blues and greens and all of that. So, um, you know, I tend to be, gra I tend to gravitate towards powders, uh, powders, palettes that are more neutral, but this one I felt like offered something for everybody because it gave me shades. Like this was my jam. This is my jam this is my jam all oh, this is my jam here like but someone that loves bold color would look at this and get so excited too she did such a great job putting together this palette I was really really impressed with with her ability to do that because putting together a palette is not as easy as you think you guys it's really really not and I feel like she took everyone into account when creating this it wasn't just her personal preference although you know she did didn't she do it all like she was so creative I mean, she would do bright, beautiful, bold looks, but then she'd also do very gorgeous, neutral glam. So um, she was so talented. So I'm gonna go in with the shade Tree Hopper, and I'm gonna take the A503, and I'm gonna kind of just work this into the crease to give a little bit of definition. This is kind of like an ochre shade. It's a really unique shade, to be honest. There's not a lot of neutral shades like this in palettes. It's neutral, but it has a little bit of like a yellow tone to it. But when it goes on the skin, it just looks like like a sh like my skin tone, but just a few shades darker. I'm gonna kind of build it up here on the outer corner just to add a little more umph to the color. Next, I'm gonna take this shade here called Marvel. It's a beautiful like foiled kind of rose gold. And I'm taking the A501 and I'm just gonna kind of press that right here in the inner corner of the eye. So pretty. Next, I'm gonna take the shade Web, which is a brighter shade. And I'm gonna still take this brush. Actually, you know what, I'm gonna switch gears. I'm gonna switch gears to the tiny little crease brush, the A504. I'm gonna pick that up and I'm gonna just kind of um, work that into the right in the inner corner. It's gonna slightly brighten and lighten Marvel, just where I apply it. I want a little brightness here, but I don't want it to be too bright. So that's why I laid Marvel down first to kind of get the perfect blend of both. Then I'm gonna take whatever's left on my brush and I'm gonna run it right here in the inner corner. As you guys know, Sydney Gray shadows, they are here to like show up. You know, they have got so much pigment. They're so beautiful. So with a shade this foiled and, you know, shimmery, I like to keep really light pressure and a fluffy little brush um, right under the eye. So pretty. Okay, next I'm gonna take A503, no, I'm sorry, the A502, which is a slightly larger crease brush. And we're gonna go in with the shade Death Moth right here, which is a really beautiful kind of espresso-y brown. Is that focusing? Yeah. We're gonna take a little bit of that, and I'm just gonna blend that just in the outer corner a little bit. Again, I want to keep the look simple, so I don't wanna to get too carried away. You know, I've been thinking of ways to honor Mel, um, and I think, you know, one thing that co continuously comes to mind is like acts of kindness, you know, like she was such a kind and loving and beautiful person, like carrying on. That's to me, that is her legacy is her heart and her kindness and just the, the love. Like she, she was special. She was special. You know, they don't make there's not a lot of people out there like Mel and if there were, the world would be a very different place. But I think just, you know, honoring that and, and taking that and being inspired by that and carrying that around through my life and through my day is a great way to honor her. Okay, next I'm gonna take a little bit of that shade Tree Hopper, which is the first shade we laid down, and I'm gonna kind of pull this up a little bit more. So pretty. Okay, then at last I'm gonna take the 204 BK Beauty Brush, and I'm gonna go into this shade right here. It's called Bugaboo, and it's a really beautiful um, matte, purpley, pinky kind of shade. And I'm going to run that on my lower lash line. We're gonna give a little bit of color here. You know, in some cases I find the need to put liner down first because I find that shadow doesn't give you enough opacity sometimes down there, but this, like, look at that. I mean, I don't even need an eyeliner. So I've applied liner and mascara, and I also applied a nude lip pencil. Um, that's one little trick I have. If you are not someone who doesn't really wear bold colors, such as like a corally red or even dark vampy colors, lining your lips with a nude, like spice colored lip pencil first is a great way to create that shape of the lip. And it also makes applying lipstick like this a little bit easier. Rather than lining with a lip liner that matches this, sometimes, you know, if you don't get that line perfect, it's such a bold lip pencil and lip pencil is so pigmented 
that it can be a hard thing to fix. So just use a nude kind of spicy lip pencil and then um, go over it with your lipstick. Such a fiery orange red. I love that. So corally. It's like a beautiful, is this more red or more orange? It's like a perfect blend of both. So this completes this look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, please, please leave your tributes, sentiments, thoughts about Mel, what she meant to you in the comment section below. You know, this was just my small way of, um, you know, kind of just processing what we are dealing with and what we're going through. It's It was a hard, hard, terrible loss and she will be missed, you know, certainly by me and I know by all of you. Um, thank you guys for watching this video. Like I said, stick around. I will include other uh, photos, perhaps videos. I don't even know yet. I need to post to my group and see, you know, who would like to share. I know that we all have, um, you know, so much. We're just processing a lot right now. So I love you, Mel. We love you. I'm sending you guys all my love and my, um, you know, just sending you strength and, and healing during processing this terrible loss to our community. All right, you guys, I will see you in my next video. Bye. Tamal, thank you so much for being an inspiration. Your positive light glows through your smile and your creativity. Thank you for always inspiring so many people to be their best self inside and out. Much love to you and your family. You'll always be remembered.